Hello there, this is a tutorial for beginners in Sony Vegas. The first thing you want to make sure when you start a new project is that your settings are set correct. You'll do that by going to files and then properties and uh, you have this template where you can se select different uh, templates that will match your content or you can press this mat match media setting button. And we can quickly go to our location with the recordings, select one, press open, and as you can see the template has changed to match my media. The next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to add your movie clips to the project. You can simply drag them into this. Uh, you can do the same thing for audio files, so I'll drag that in also. And now I can drag down this video clip. I'll just mute it. This will turn on and off the sound. And as you can see, the recording is now playing. The quality of the movie up here depends uh, on the computer's performance or you can set it to whatever you like like you can choose best and full that would be the best quality you can get but uh, sometimes your computer will lag when using that now let's say i don't want to use the start i will see it through and i can see i don't want to use it up to here and I'll then press enter to stop the playing. Maybe I'll let it go a little further by uh, hitting the spacebar. And then hit enter right there. I'll then press the S key to split it and I can delete the side I don't want to use. Uh, next I will drag another video clip in. I can now move it freely. I can it will snap to the other clip so you can see when I play it. It's shipped from one recording to another recording. Uh, and you can easily take this and move it over the other. And you can see it will get a, a smooth a transition. Um, you can also move this clip by using the number pad keys. Uh, if I press the 6, I will move it right. If I pr press 4, I will move it left. And if I press 1, I will move it one frame at a time. And I can hold it down to move a lot of them. Let's snap them back together and move it a few frames over each other, so we'll get a smooth transition. Now if I want to take off the end of this clip, I can just drag this in and the end of the clip will uh, be cut away. Or I can, with the number pad, press 9 and I get this red selection. And I can then use 1 and 4 to cut away as I like, one frame at a time. I will now make another layer uh, to insert a music la a track. And I can just drag it down here. And we can play it. I can easily cut off the end to make it match my movie. I can make it fade. I can turn down the volume. Um.
And if you want to, we can make another layer. Insert video track, and we can put a text up here. Like insert, and you can either use text media or you can go to the generated media, and you can take the Sony ProType titler. For now, I've just used the text media. And as you can see, we have the text here over the video clip. And we can make a simple hello world. And we can do the same thing uh, with this as with all the video clips. We can drag it out to get it to play for longer. And we can drag it in to play, make it play faster. We can make it fade in and out. And now I'll show you how to render the movie. And you can do that by clicking here uh, twice. So we get the selection from this yellow uh, tri to this yellow tri. And then now I can go to files and choose render as. And I have already selected a template called Internet HD 27P. That's one I want, but you can choose whatever you would like to do it in. And then you just select where I want to save it. And press save and render.